This is a tutorial on the floating decimals feature on a calculator. Now in order to learn how it works, let's take a look at a simple mathematical expression. So here we have 1 divided by 8. Now before we actually do that division, let's go to mode on the calculator so we could see our float settings. So the second option down is float. Now by default, the float is turned off. And that's indicated by the word float being highlighted in black. Now let's take a look and see what that does. So we'll do 1 divided by 8 and then hit enter. Now for us, this would be the exact decimal answer for the division we just did, which is 0.125. So that's what happens when we have the float turned off. It'll go to however many decimal places it needs to to get us the answer. Now when we change the float settings on our calculator, what we're actually doing is specifying how many decimal places we want in our answer. For example, if we change the setting to 2, the calculator will always give us two decimal places in our answer, even if we don't need them. Same thing if we change the setting to 5, 6, or 7. The calculator will always give us that number of decimals. Now let's see what happens when we make some changes to our float settings. For example, let's see what happens when we turn our float on to 0. So we'll go to mode, and then go down to float, then scroll over to 0 and then hit enter. Now let's quit out of this menu and do the same operation again. 1 divided by 8. This time we got a result of 0. And that's because we told the calculator to give us no decimals indicated by the float 0. So since our result would have normally been 0.125, the calculator took that answer and rounded it to zero decimal places, which ultimately gives us our final result of zero. So now let's try another float setting. What if we changed it to show us only one decimal? Let's see what it does. So we'll go to mode, float, and this time turn on one. Now if we do the same operation, 1 divided by 8, we get an answer of 0.1, which makes sense because if we round 0.125 to only one decimal, we're left with just 0.1. Now let's go on to look at a few more float settings. This time, let's try two decimal places. So we'll go back to mode and then change our float to be 2. So now when we do 1 divided by 8, it'll round to two decimal places, giving us a result of 0.13, which makes sense because the 5 would bump our 2 up to be a 3. Now if we changed our float settings to give us three decimal places, It'll give us three decimal places when we do 1 divided by 8, which is 0.125. Now let's change our float settings just one more time. So for this last operation, let's have our float settings to 4. So we'll go to mode, go over to float, and then hit enter on 4. Now when we do 1 divided by 8, it'll give us 4 decimal places, giving us a result of 0 0.1250. Now since our float settings were on 4, the calculator will always give us 4 decimal places, even if we don't necessarily need them. For example, 1 divided by 8 is just 0 0.125, which is 3 decimals. But since we have our float settings to 4, it'll give us that extra zero at the end.
And the same thing would be if we turned it to 5, 6, or 7. It'll keep adding on additional zeros. And that's how you use the floating decimals feature on your calculator.